Right, it's Kubasek Krzysiek here. In this lesson, uh, we're going uh, to design jewelry uh, ring. So we're going to go through the uh, two stages. Uh, basically, it's just a sketching and then ex uh, making these sketches um, solids. We're going to use these solids later to subtract, to union and to play a little bit more. So you'll learn how to uh, use these tools. Also, you'll learn how to set all of design according to the coordinate system. So let's start. Uh, let's create a new uh, workspace. So first I'm going to create in the back view uh, a shape of the ring and then I'm going to place it and uh, uh, and block it in the middle of center coordinate points. So uh, blocking in a center allows me to scale to that point. So this is a very good um, feature. So uh, I've measured my ring before uh, and uh, this is about 19 millimeters and now we're going to offset that inside so the f thickness is about millimeter each side. I'm going to split my design in uh, two shapes which is going to be the bottom shape uh, which I'm extruding right now and the top shape. The bottom shape actually is not changing it has a two millimeters thickness but the top shape will contain all of the curvatures and all of the nice design we're going to work a little bit uh, more so i extruded that shape uh, a little bit wider and and all of those two shapes i've put it on, on layers um, and I've created another layer, which I call the cut, uh, because this is going to be my cutting uh, objects. Uh, anything I'm, I am creating right now uh, is going to be placed in the, the top layer in the groups. So this is good to remember. I'm going to create a line, which I can horizontally align according to the axis. And then I'm going to create a construction plane from uh, that line at the uh, angle because I need the flat mm, plane right now. I'm going to move this plane above the design so to not uh, get the, the, my shapes uh, to disturb me. And now I'm going to create a shape of my top ring. So always is good to create a symmetry line. I like to do it because then I know where uh, where I am. And in case I need some mirroring, I have uh, help tools. It's it's always good to um, remember that coordinate system, uh, which are these uh, lines in, on your workspace, are really uh, important. Uh, because if you actually working around the zero point then it's easy to make any operations like uh, mirroring duplicating uh, rotating then zero points always appears and always uh, help you to m arrange your design so now I'm creating mm, a sketch of uh, the shape is going to go outside the ring a little bit I have to make it round and then I'm going to split it in half because uh, I'm going to make my uh, original design. I'll use the offset tool to offset the curve loop and I'll do the same with another one. And inside of top offset shape, I'm going to create my pattern. So I'm going to use this pattern later to uh, subtract from my solid. Uh, so as you can see, I'm I'm creative right now. I can do whatever li I like. Um, and also, if I will make a mistake, I can correct it just by selecting point and dragging and dropping in the right position. 
so this is really cool uh, to have this opportunity to be a, a very uh, spontaneous and creative so at the end I'm going to trim uh, trim it a little bit the shapes I don't need and uh, to help myself to select um, the inside mm, shape of my uh, sketch because otherwise I'm going to so otherwise I'm going to select to select all of these shapes one by one and now um, I will be able to select the whole loop uh, so now I need to uh, turn the plane off because it's going to disturb me to selecting my objects and I need to extrude my object to use um, subtract tool as so and then I'm going to just uh, pull it down and I'm going to uh, have the intersection tool so now it the half of the ring is almost ready So as you can see, I've prepared all those small details I can extrude right now and um, and just cut it in my design. A small pattern. As you see, I'm going to select all of the inside shapes. And again, I'm going to subtract, but in this case, I'm going to use a uh, group tools to cut in. Uh, group tools is great because it allows me to cut by group of objects. I created in a layer called cut, I told you previously. So now I need to copy that shape on the other side of the ring. So I will use the rotation with copy selected according to zero point. So now uh, it's really helpful to have all of designs, uh, all of objects in the center of my overall coordinate system. Okay. So now I'm going to switch uh, the old sketches off. And I'm going to union all of these parts, all of these objects I've created. Now I'll um, create a small detail uh, like mm, filleting at the edges. I like to uh, rotate around the objects very often as you probably spotted. So in uh, Sharper 3D it's really easy just uh, using two fingers and you can move around but remember uh, if you want to uh, move or rotate according a certain area you just need to place two fingers and swipe them around okay now it's time to create a small diamonds which I will place in this gap I've created previously to do it you just need to uh, sketch on uh, the grid points uh, they automatically uh, snap into that and you're gonna make it all uh, precisely to create that diamond I need to um, use loft tool but first I need to copy this octagon uh, two times more and then use it uh, as a profile to uh, loft 
So be sure the center of transformation is in the middle of your uh, octagon. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can create line between uh, edges and then use the center of that line as a center of transformation. So it's now time to loft, but remember to do it separately. Uh, if you do it at once, you create the round shape because loft works like this. So now we just need to uh, union that shape and now it's one object. Okay, now it's time to place this diamond uh, in the right position. I'm going to do it manually and again using a rotation tool. Now I'm going to switching between views uh, because I need to place it in the right position. Uh, switching uh, is easy because you just need to uh, tap uh, onto the small box at the uh, top right corner and then choose the, the view uh, you want to look at. So um, if I will place this diamond then I have to copy that. So to do it again I need to uh, the place uh, the center of transformation in the right position. In this case this position is going to be the center of a coordinate system because I've created the ring around that point as I'm doing right now. So now the copying will be easy. Don't forget to select the copy uh, from the toolbox and then just copy your diamond a couple of times. So you need to adjust the position uh, from the top view or from the perspective view uh, as, as is comfortable for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be very precise because this is basically conceptual work showing your ideas. Now it's time to make a copy to the other side of um, the half of the ring. I'm using transformation tool and as again I'm going to transform and rotate it according to the center point. I'm going to place the center of rotation in the center of ring and then just rotate 180 degrees. So now it's time to uh, get rid of all of the unuseful uh, sketches and and make it the last touch, which is uh, uh, putting colors on uh, our design. So I'll try to imitate gold by selecting the yellow color and imitate diamonds, putting the white colors. So let's try to put the uh, colors on the top of, of the surfaces of the diamonds. Okay, it doesn't look perfect, so I better select all of them and then so put the white on top. So basically this is it for this lesson. So uh, as you can see, it's easy to make a jewelry too. Uh, Everything it depends how creative you are and what uh, you imagine. Um, so thanks very much and uh, good luck with modeling.